Welcome back, and today I have a little Ulta haul. So I got a couple free gifts, and then my haul. Let's talk about the free gifts. Let me see what my receipt says what it was. I think it was just you had to spend $25 or something. I don't know. We'll go in that. I'll show you what I got first of all. Uh, this is foundation I am trying out right now. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Primer. It's first of my morning. I got this box like Thursday or something. Uh, I'm in the shade TN3, which is tan neutral 3. I almost thought I'd be tan neutral 4, but this one's matching me really well right now. But as soon as I tan it's not going to and unfortunately you know this has a hundred shades like on the peer website and you can go and order like three or four little tubes to see what your shade is on Ulta only 40 shades are available in TN4 which is tan neutral 4 is not available but they do have TN5 but the only thing that's holding me back is like a little bit of the olive undertone sometimes I can pull off all of the undertones way more than I can yellow or orange so um so if I get a little darker, like this coming week or something, I um, might not be able to wear this very much longer because it's like my perfect shade match right now. So yeah, but so far I'm liking it. It is not very glowy. It's very, it's the natural finish. It almost goes like dries to like a powder kind of feel and look on your face. You know how powder fan is kind of what it does. Uh, this one's supposed to be able to conceal. I did have to apply a little bit more than I thought, but I was bouncing with Beauty Blender and it says apply with a brush. Or a beauty sponge that I think absorbs a lot more product than it tells me it does. So, um, yeah, but I am liking it. I think it looks good on the skin, like it really does. The only thing is, this foundation doesn't have SPF, which all my other foundations do. So, this would be one that, like, I was strictly inside as a rainy day or <laughs> very, very little sun exposure because I really don't have a sunscreen that my skin's cool with like underneath makeup or anything like that like I'll wear I'll wear some block to the pool but you know you wash it off like after a couple hours or something like that okay that's fine um <clears throat> or something like that but I usually depend on SPF in my foundations for day to day luckily I only live a few or work a few minutes away so I don't really get a lot of sun like early in the morning or even when I'm coming home so you know there's that but if you were outside you know definitely make sure you have a sunscreen in your regimen somewhere and <laughs> or in spray or something like that with this foundation this really surprised me it does have an AHA in it which um can make you sun sensitive too so <laughs> it even recommends putting on a sunscreen so there's that but I am liking how it looks and do a little wear test it's not gonna be horribly long or Next up, I picked up this because I'm literally on the dregs of it. And y'all know this is like my favorite foundation nowadays. Like I miss using the L'Oreal Pro Glow, but like a certain, like my shade right now would be a little too yellow in the Pro Glow or Infallible uh, Pro Matte. Um, you know, the original L'Oreal's, I love those foundations. I love the coverage on them. But like at a certain point in my tan, they go like all the shades are really yellow based so this one is neutral so <laughs> this is the physician's formula the healthy foundation it does have spf 20 in it um <clears throat> it's the healthy one uh, it has oxygen oxate um but yeah i just love this foundation it is so good i mean hypoallergenic fragrance free paraben free gluten free non comedogenic dermatologist tested clinically tested cruelty free and vegan it does have a brightening complex it, just makes your skin looks healthier like I look a little bit more matte than I normally do with this foundation right now so um yeah so this is like my favorite holy grail and I need I was almost out of my medium neutral four which is just my straight up shade now y'all you know be like a month or so ago I was mixing 
a little bit of this with the medium neutral three but now I'm solidly on the shade and so it's like <laughs> it's almost out so and this is a gift with purchase I don't know if it was a code a certain amount I mean I spent like 40 50 50 so it might have been like a free gift with 50 um so I'm not sure but I like how they upgraded to this bag so it actually has a zipper so you know you can actually take this bag on a trip or something so got a very small sample of Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion original always wait for these if they go on sale or if they're included in a sample pack it is a good eyeshadow primer it really is um uh, Milani's um, as good really uh so yeah so just don't ever pay full price if you can avoid it wait for a sale wait till they're they usually are always there in Ulta's 21 days of beauty sale so you know think about that I'm just gonna leave it in here for now because that is one that I will keep but they have several shades this is the original one it looks like that it cancels out a little bit of the you know discoloration um they have like an urethral and all the other ones that's the only one i've tried i gave my mom the anti-asian one but who knows if she's even using it so <laughs> next up is a little sample of Lorraine shampoo yin lang um i think it might be the shampoo ink sure i think this little packet so two goes to them for not wanting to open it's still everywhere Yeah, you got a little shampoo. You know, good for a couple of uses. I will probably try to bring a lot of these on my Disney trip for like me and my nieces because we'll be sharing a hotel room with my sister in law. She wants to too. Because um, I think I still have some. I've given I've given a lot away because I just don't use them all. But they're less picky than I am. So, <laughs> and I might actually try that. That using Lang sounds neat. Um, don't know what it's supposed to do. If it says what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's that you don't get no information. And I got a sample of Versace Eros Flame Hello Perfume. This has this is the off lactic family, which is citrus, amber, and woody. Which I'm loving citrus, though. This has Chinato Accord, Black Pepper uh, from Madagascar, Wild Mountain Mo Roser Rosemary, um, Pepperwood, Patchouli. I love Patchouli. Her, uh, Velveteur Haiti. I don't know what that is. So it's probably more of a winter scent. So it looks like it's pretty neat. Um, okay, so I guess it's just, this is, it has a lot of the same notes, or at least with the patchouli and like a little for like pepper that my winter scents tend to have. Um, I don't know about rosemary. I don't like rosemary in food. Am I the only one? I hate rosemary in food. Like, I don't like the taste of it. Who? That's a girl scent. That is. A sh That's supposed to be the girl scent. That smells like a men's cologne. It really does. And it's supposed to be a woman's, but that's strong. Or it says Edo perfume. And that smells like a strong. It smells like a men's cologne that I know. <laughs> like okay. Um. I think my brother's just to my one I'm like it it smells like a men's cologne but it smells like a good men's cologne but as a woman I wouldn't wear it you know what I'm saying okay yeah see look I got caviar anti-asian plunging shampoo and conditioner there's those oh yeah I'm gonna see that I'm in a lot of samples um you got lip and proof color care shampoo and conditioner I might pass that one to my mom because she does have color treated hair. Nobody else does. Got a Derma Doctor Kakadu C Brightening Daily Cleanser Toner and Makeup Remover. Okay, so it's face wash, I'm guessing. Um, uh, Derma E Hydrating Day Cream Hyaluronic Acid in Green Tea. Ooh, I might actually try that. And Derma E's like on the higher end but it's not uber high end it's like more of an escu price that was a little bit but it's a lot of it's on sale right now by the way oh by the way that foundation that i ordered a few days ago monday friday i don't know when i ordered it uh it's now on sale for 30 percent off all up here is like 
Oh, you suck also. You suck. Anyway, so this is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, no soy. I don't know, but that's what it looked like when you order it. That's what it looks like. So I'm actually interested in trying this one out if I remember to. Because <laughs> I like green tea and how I want to have it. A de Boshe Detoxifying Black Cleanser, which I do have a sample or two of that. That might just like... An Elemis Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream. Ooh. I might actually use that sample. Okay, I got a Black Sugar Perfect Splash Mask. With sucrose, 10% by tone up, 20% mild pH. It's from Skin Food. A 4-in-1 splash mask that removes dead skin cells and refines skin texture and moisturizers and contains mild pH. Get hydrated smooth skin with mild and simple exfoliating care from brown sugar and clear rice wine. Black sugar is the product name of skin food. This product is made of brown sugar. <laughs> um, daily care day or night for about 700 milliliters of water in the basin. So yeah, basically fill up your basin or almost and add a cap of the seven milliliters of the product. Okay, 30 milliliters is an ounce, right? Or is it 50 milliliters? No, 30 milliliters is an ounce, I was right. So yeah, you're talking like, yeah, like a pool basin. Um, and the product to dilute and then pat and cleanse several times, lightly towel dry or pat to absorb. <clears throat> Or, okay, that's for daily care if you want to dilute this. If you want to do special care, which is one or two times a week, after cleansing, take half a cap of the product and pat on moisturized face. Rinse your face two to three times with water and lightly towel dry. That's probably what I'll do. I don't do the whole fill up a basin thing. I just don't. Um, so, yeah. But I'm kind of interested in that. It's very different. I'll have to be careful, but I don't think it has anything that my skin won't like. It has apple, citrus, which is lemon. Those are all toward the bottom. Castor oils, a few down, but not super down. Yeah, um, papaya, aloe, metric cooker oil, blah, blah, blah. So water and glycerin are the first ingredients in the glycol. What that looks like. Interesting. Next up I have from Clarins a concentrate super restorative total eye concentrate. So another little eye cream. Might just pass those on to my own thing. She might actually use this one. So I have like full size. Uh, next up is a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter. Um, so you do got Champagne Pop, which is like the one highlighter I want that I don't own. You got Chocolate Geode, which I've never seen actually. Not even in a sample. And you got Opal, which I do have. Do I have the full size? Mm, I have a sample. Or do I have full size? I don't. So yeah, that, I, I won't use that. Like at all. <laughs> I know. Next up, I got It Confidence in an Eye Cream Brightens, Repairs, and Transforms. It is a five milliliter little, little bitty bitty. Um, this was okay. It wasn't life changing for me. It was just okay. Like I kind of, I'm kind of loving what I'm using right now, which is just beauty. Like one, just working good. Um, so yeah, really small amount. I'll probably pass this one to my mom. I did pass her along the it confidence in a cream moisturizer. So I'll give her that. Okay, I got Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Perfume, which I do have full size, I do believe. Yeah, I have Juicy Couture. Couture. Yeah. Yeah, I have that one, I think. Uh -huh. Got a sample of Roller Lash, um, which I actually really like this mascara. It's really good. It just smudges so bad on me. It's ridiculous. It just smudges me doing nothing and it smudges on me. <laughs> So I can't really use it unless I go over it with a waterproof mascara, which I've been known to do, so I might keep this one. I actually like how it makes my eyelashes look. 
so I might keep it in here just for a look or something. Uh, now this I'll be passing along because this is Maybelline Lash Sensational, which I know for a fact contains Carmine. All their new mascaras contain Carmine. Now their OG green and pink bottle does not, and a few of their older ones I think don't, but all their newer ones, and this is the newer one, like the past few years, like contain Carmine. So even though it's black, it contains Carmine. So I will not be using that. Uh, next up is from Ritual. Uh, this is the Ritual of Sakura. Sakura. Uh, Sakura is cherry blossom, in case you don't know. Uh, celebrate each day as a new beginning. And this is a body cream with organic rice milk and cherry blossom. I actually have two cherry blossoms tattooed on my body. One's right there. Like a, a stylistic one. I've got like one that actually looks legit on my back. That smells good. A flurry, but not bad. Mm. Mm -hmm. I thought he said like a full body lotion, but like a hand lotion for work or something. I do like little lotions like that. And the last thing in this bag are actually two things, which I think are freaking awesome to get. Um, these are hemp's, and I kind of want to try. I'm, I'm thinking I'm at the point where I need to try a new shampoo. I mean, my, my, it's still holding good or doing good, like to my hair. I just kind of, you know, sometimes you do you change up what you're using in your hair. So, uh, this is the Hemp's Pomegranate Daily Herbal or Herbal Moisturizing Conditioner Soft and Smooth. This is three ounce. And the reason why I'm interested in this, and then you got the Moisturizing Shampoo Pomegranate. I love Pomegranate. One. Two, I didn't realize how much I liked this until I got like a little sample of the Hemp's Lotion. And I used that and I was like, oh, this is a really good lotion. It smells really freaking good. Um, you know, I think it might contain parabens and all that other good stuff, so I don't know, but I'm really, 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 and it says it helps preserve color for your hair. Who cares? It does have 100% natural hemp seed oil, so I'm, I'm kind of interested in trying this. I don't know if I want to dive in and just blank, take it to Disney. Yes, you will hear Disney, Disney, Disney. We are like just over two months away from going, <laughs> and yeah. Um, so when you like save these for Disney and like wing it, but cause I can bring, I have several packets of my current hair conditioner and shampoo. Like I still have those saved. So, um, I might bring both and just see if I like this. And if I don't, I can always wash my hair the next day or even later that day. Cause it's going to be a hot sweltering mess when we're down there anyway. So I can see multiple showers happening for everybody unless we just hop in the pool or something. Um, so, but I'm interested in that. I think that's a really good gift. That's like an excellent, this is a good, a good all around, like, just thing with everything in here. So, they have like five mystery bags. I think that's what I went, like, you don't know what's in them. You have no idea what, what you're going to get in your mystery gift. Um, so this is what I got. Um, I had no idea. I didn't know if it was going to be like more like, that was a lot of little samples, a couple bigger ones, but this one's like, really big sample. So, uh, first thing I'm going to pull out of here is from the System Professional Volume Shampoo Weightless Strength. Never even heard of this brand, but there we go. Um, it doesn't have a horribly lot of ingredients. It has caffeine in it, which I suppose help your hair grow. It does have hydrogenated palm glycerides. Um, so there's that. Next up, oh, okay, so is that the condition? No, that's volume shampoo. Okay, so I got a pack of that, and then I got this. This is the System Professional Silver Shampoo, shampooing origin for cool blonde reflections, reflects blonde threat. Um, I assume, don't have blonde hair. I have a niece that has naturally blonde, blonde hair. So I'll just give her that. Um, I think this is supposed to like help more if you have colored blonde hair, but I think, I don't even think she has to go get highlights, but you know, she's blonde. I'll just give it to her. She'll be alright. <laughs> Next up, I have, it's a 10 potion, 10 miracle styling potion. Um, this is a 1.5 ounce I apply to wet or dry hair. This is supposed to do blow dry smoothing styler. Luminous shine, detangles, lightweight formula, reduces frizz, 
Put that one. Enriched community resistance. Oh, oh, never mind. I was gonna give you up, but no. I'm having a problem. Even living proof is not helping that much with my frizz. I don't know what's going on. Um, now today I just let my hair air dry. So there's that, but and I combed it through this way. Like not as crazy as it can be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna maybe even take this work. Kind of like I get to work after going outside and my hair's like, <laughs> like it's just this top part. It's like all frizzy. Um, you know, my like baby hair is growing in. It's like so frizzy. Um, <clears throat> So I might like, take that to work, but I might try it in the bathroom tomorrow. I think I have another one if I didn't give it away to somebody. You know, I can send everybody everything. Um, next up is from Rusk Pro. This is the Finish 04 Firm Hold Hairspray, which is cool. I have like a finishing spray, but I don't really have a hairspray I like anymore. So I'll probably, I'll probably use that. I used to use some Rusk products that were really good. They were, um, it was something straighten your hair. I think it's really good. Next up from Joyco, I have Defy Damage Protective Mask for Bond Strengthening and Color Longevity. This is a mask perfecter, an intense damage prevention mask to help replenish strength and moisture balance for soft, for soft, silky, shiny, healthy looking hair in minutes. Apply to clean damp hair, leave in two to five minutes. doesn't say I can't use it without hair. You know, I like, you know, I like my hair mask and you know what? I always loved how the, the conditioners, when you colored your hair, when you got like the box color, those conditioners, whatever they put in them were freaking awesome. They were in like box conditioners. Like, I am not know. Okay, next up is from Living Proof. Uh, this is the perfect hair day and shower styler. Enhances texture and shine for air dried styles. Okay. Apply in shower to clean wet hair. Generously cooked from roots to end. Lightly rinse, towel dry, scrunch, and air dry. Interesting. I'm using that to my home girl I need though. Cause like the only time I let my hair air dry is like today. Yesterday, which is the weekend, like when I'm not doing anything. If I'm doing something, I'm drying it. But if I'm not, then I'll let it air dry. Um, I hardly ever wake up any early enough anymore to like use a diffuser. So <laughs> I might pass that along, or I might pass it along to my nieces. They do that scrunch style every now and then. We'll see. But that's a really good gift. I mean, look at the size of what things I got in it. Where is that? Other one? This this I mean it was all hair care but it kind of made sense for the surprise gift to be hair care because I think I ordered it at the tail end of the hair care event that they just had so I mean that and then I got a sample packet or something so that's a really good gift purchase I mean that's that's really good size. you know sizes you better like you can travel size you ain't gonna run out of these on a trip we'll set trips for like a month or two uh, so yeah, so I think that's pretty good on that little haul. So thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Toodles!